Okay, so GTA 5 update is in full effect and it is now have been released to the public. Here are some changes and updates. Let's begin with the Avenger, which has some exciting new features that you might not be aware of. Firstly, it can now be purchased independently without the need to own a facility beforehand. This means you don't have to pay for the property up front. Additionally, the Avenger can now be stored inside the hangar and comes equipped with several upgrades, including a machine gun operated by the pilot, pilot-operated missiles, a stealth module, autopilot defense, missile lock-on jammer, and the ability to store the thruster as a support vehicle. You can even request it in free mode, making it even more convenient. Moving on to the hangar, there have been several notable updates. The introduction of new land-based source and sell cargo missions allows players to engage in smuggling operations exclusively on land. These missions can be selected through the Free Trade Shipping Company website. Moreover, a new staff member has been added to the hangar who can assist in sourcing cargo for a small fee. Ron can now be called to launch source cargo missions in free mode. Additionally, the setup mission for the smuggler's business can now be bypassed by paying a fee. Other enhancements to the hangar include the addition of a weapon workshop and extra weapon pickups. Rockstar has also expanded the selection of clothing items and accessories, with 160 pieces for male characters and 220 pieces for female characters. Both genders have received new hairstyle options as well. If you're interested in improving your flying skills at the flight school, you'll be pleased to know that there's now a convenient access point inside the hangar, saving you the hassle of finding it elsewhere. In terms of gameplay improvements, five new RC Bandito time trials have been added, which rotate daily to provide increased rewards. Players can also unlock different names for their acid product, increasing its value when sold. Experience enhancements include the ability to toggle between tap and hold for sprinting on controllers through the alternative setting option. When calling Moore's Mutual to claim destroyed vehicles, you can now retrieve all of them simultaneously instead of one at a time. Furthermore, destroyed personal vehicles during contact missions can be claimed for free from Moore's Mutual Insurance. There are various quality of life updates too. Players can now add custom description tags to their garages, allowing for better organization. The Eclipse Boulevard garage has been revamped and split into five floors, each accommodating 10 cars. The Sakura Serve and Motorcycle Club interaction menu sections have been merged into a boss section, allowing players to quickly register as a boss at any owned business computer. Map blips for properties now appear at shorter distances, reducing clutter. Additionally, the Avenger, Mobile Operations Center, and Terabyte can be requested closer to the player's location in free mode. Cannons on the P996 laser and Hydra jets have been adjusted, and the activation button for vertical takeoff and landing has been updated across all planes. Rockstar has also made several miscellaneous fixes and updates specific to different platforms. Looking ahead, they have announced the upcoming release of the Bravado Buffalo EVX vehicle, the return of armored van robberies, and an exciting large-scale battle on Cayo Perico in the form of a new adversary mode. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.